Blessed Wednesday, my dear friends. This is Vani Ocampo. Welcome to Pathways of Hope. The political campaigns are over. In one way or another, we have attempted to convince others to believe and to entrust our country's future to our preferred candidate. I have learned something really valuable in this election, and that is for me to have the same passion in convincing people to have a personal relationship with Christ in the same manner that I was passionate in convincing people to vote for my chosen candidate. The gospel today is not only beautiful but also very timely. Allow me to read to you the complete text from John chapter 12 verses 44 to 50. Then Jesus cried out, Whoever believes in me does not believe in me only, but in the one who sent me. The one who looks at me is seeing the one who sent me. I have come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. If anyone hears my words but does not keep them, I do not judge that person. For I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. There is a judge for the one who rejects me and does not accept my words. The very words I have spoken will condemn them at the last day. For I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me to say all that I have spoken. I know that his command leads to eternal life. So whatever I say is just what the Father has told me to say. Let me share with you my per personal reflection by highlighting three important points. The first one is God's initiative. The Father sent Jesus. Jesus is more than the messenger. Jesus is the perfect representation of our Father. Our eternal life is only possible through believing in Jesus Christ. If that is the case, then let us invite every person we know to get to know Jesus. This is our most important mission as Christians, to introduce and share Christ to as many people as possible even if that means for us doing it person to person, even house to house. Second point, Jesus is our light. Believing in Jesus moves us from darkness to light. Do you know of people who are lost, empty, lonely, isolated, and hurting? Let us reach out to them because we have the power to share Jesus' light, love, forgiveness, care, and acceptance. Because of Jesus, there is no good reason for us to remain captive to the darkness of our sins. He has come as light and he has invited us to welcome the light. Third and final point. Jesus came not to judge but to save people. Let us stop labeling and judging one another. Let us love like Jesus. Jesus is the Savior of the world. Let us preach the good news so all will be saved. Blessed by this short reflection today, kindly click the share button so that many more will be blessed by God's word. May the Lord bless you and keep you.